Let no man despise thy youth. Be thou an example of the believers in faith. A life of simple trust in God. Do I only trust God when I don't have to trust Him? I mean, as long as I can figure it out and see all the, all the details and say, yep, everything's working according to schedule, that's good, Lord, I agree. Here's my little rubber stand. I'm, I'm sure He appreciates that when I approve His sovereign will. But then things don't seem to be working out quite the way I'd planned. I'd ex- extrapolated and assumed He was going to work in this way, and He doesn't quite work that way. And I say, now, Lord, uh, there are a few things here that seem to be out of line. And uh, I keep forgetting that that he's not in heaven to do my will. I'm on earth to do his will. <clears throat> and I start to treat him like my private secretary, like, here are the things today, Lord. I'd appreciate you getting them done by five o'clock. You know, I treat him like that. And I sense that there's not much out there except God. God says, well, I'm enough. Go ahead, take the next step now. Like the children of Israel, three days journey into the wilderness, finally their little water bottles had sagged and there was nothing left in them. And the grain that they had fed their animals was gone. And all their dried fish was... um, (laughs) It was about time they buried that stuff and they had nothing left but God. God said, well now, am I not enough for thee? And God brings us to that point in our lives, doesn't he? You know, it's not God plus money can do anything. It's God. It's not God plus my own resources or God plus my own understanding. It's God. And God wants to bring me to that point in my life. And if you haven't been there yet, brother, sister, he'll get you there. Where he brings us to the point where we can trust in nothing else but God. As David begins the psalm, he says, He is my rock. I shall not be greatly moved. When he finishes the psalm, he says, He only is my rock. I shall not be moved. That's where God wants to get us. Not that there's anything in us, but that the rock is solid we're on. Someone has said, Faith steps on the seeming void and finds the rock beneath. God is there, and God is enough.